Um, I think the government really needs to take the enforcement of the Residential Tenancies Act seriously. Uh, they passed the law and, uh, you know, made it so that landlords and tenants have no choice but follow it. Uh, but then, you know, there's no teeth. Uh, so, you know, every other law that's been passed, you know, there's some sort of enforcement mechanism built in and it's usually a government uh, agency or officer that would enforce that. Uh, so Service Newfoundland should really be looking at doing the same and having people there uh, to make sure that the rules are being followed. And when they're not being followed, uh, specifically if it's, you know, the same people not following the rules over and over, uh, then, you know, those might be cases where fines may be justified. Why hasn't that happened? It's a good question. Um, I will leave that one for the government to answer. So anyone can make a complaint to law enforcement. Uh, anyone can lay in information. So that's the start of that process, laying in information with the courts. Um, and then that is kind of a, a court process takes over uh, and it would be a court decision. Just like in our Insurance Companies Act, uh, anyone can make a complaint. And then um, one outcome from that might be a fine against an, an insurance company. That would be the same as a fine against a tenant or a fine against a landlord. Um, and so we have a team of residential tenancies adjudicators who hear cases and make legally binding decisions. And if anyone is unhappy with the decision through that process, you can appeal that to the court. But dealing with the fines that were added in 2018 or, or upgraded in 2018, specifically to try to get landlords and tenants to, basically there's some sort of deterrent for breaking the law. It doesn't look like those have ever, fines have ever been laid. So how effective is that if it's not being used? Like you're saying people have to come forward and do that themselves, but obviously that's not happening. So how effective is that? I think that's a fair question, uh, but I guess we have fines, fines are, are meant to act as a deterrence as well, primarily. Um, my team always tell me about the example about, uh, you know, blue zone accessible parking spaces. The fine was increased dramatically, and then we've seen a lot, uh, you know, significant reduction um, in people, parking in a blue zone space because the fine is so high. Um, so in terms of the fines, you know, anyone can, can bring that forward, anyone can lay in information and that kind of court of justice is available to anyone. Um, we, as part of the, the landlord tenant process, we try to do re um, mediation as much as possible. Our team of adjudicators make decisions. Uh, we've sped up the process now in terms of the time to get a hearing and the time to get a decision. I think it's eight days between a hearing and decision. Um, so we're constantly looking, looking to try and make that process better so that landlords and tenants get outcomes sooner because um, that's what they, they all want to move on with their lives and resolve that issue. Um, and sometimes as part of that process, the landlord or the tenant might have to pay something, like they might have to you know, get their damage deposit back or pay rent owed or something like that. But in terms of a penalty, the court system, the court, that, that would be up to the court system to assign a penalty and that anyone can start that process by laying in information or making a complaint to law enforcement. Yeah, I um, but given the fact the RNC has never dealt with it, the RCMP has never dealt with it, it's never, it doesn't look like it's ever been before the courts, what's the point of having this part of the act that was built in in order to get landlords and tenants to comply if no one has been able or ha if no one has gone forward with this like it seems like there's a gap obviously like this rule exists this law exists but it's never been put into action well, we have laws and I'm responsible for 176 pieces of legislation and regulations and I would imagine most if not all of those have fines built in and I guess having a, the principle of having a law is is just because no fines have been levied or and I can't speak in this case if fines have been levied or not because that would be up to the court system um, and so having a law and having a fine like not having ever administered the fine doesn't defeat the purpose of having the law um, so fines in a lot of what we do, we hope that they're a deterrence, right? It costs nothing to obey the law, fines are a deterrence, and the fines, any fines levied would be up to the court system. Um, so that certainly you know, wouldn't be up to me. Anyone who feels like they, uh, someone has contravened the act uh, can file a complaint with law enforcement and the court system, it'd be up to the court system to uh, lay a fine.